What is going on YouTube, it's Sank here, we're back with another one. Alright guys, so in this video I'm coming out with a couple of penny stop plays for us to consider for next week. Now you guys know with these penny stop plays, we view it as a way to blow off some steam in the market, have a bit of fun. Now before I get to it, I'm going to need you guys to hit that like button for me, and if you're new, hit the subscribe button, join the journey. Now before we jump into our first one, let's touch on one of our existing penny stop plays in the portfolio. Up on screen, that's IQST, now this was a real MVP to finish off a crazy week that we just had in the market. I'm going to put on your radar though that their January sales came in around five million dollars this was over 150 percent increase year on year so this play is flying right now and that puts them right on track to hit that 60 million in revenue by the end of the year now as long as they're on track to hit that 60 million in revenue they deserve a position within the portfolio now you got to remember iqsc they're diversified in what they do they've got their telecom division their fintech their technology they're even working on an ev battery as well so they've got several shots on goal and this was shown when their blockchain subsidiary came out with some news early in the week so they've got a product called mnpa that's launching April 2021. It allows the end user to change network carrier in three clicks. Said to be revolutionary, so it should be some good things coming for our play. Now, NMPA is set to have a market of around 260 million. IQSC are looking to grab 10% of that. And IQSC have said we should expect news next week on their path to uplisting to the NASDAQ. Now, yesterday's performance for IQSC, that was up 33% in a very volatile market, so this is solid performance. Let's go IQST. Now, if you're looking for guidance on when to jump in display, strike price is under $1. Up on screen, that's Amplify Energy, ticker symbol AMPY. This is an oil and gas play. When the pandemic hit, that stock price came down because there was less demand for the oil and gas as travel stopped and there was more stay at home. But as we know, the vaccine is being continually rolled out and as these economies open up and travel picks back up again, demand is going to increase. So currently standing at $3.71. As you can see on the month's performance, they've been making their return up, but they've still got a long way to go. Pre-pandemic levels was around $5, 6 $7 and they will be making their return there also got to remember this is an undervalued play currently price of sales less than one we like that over here now i've got a similar play for you up on screen as cosmos energy ticker symbol kos price three dollars and 37 cent now again this is an oil and gas play similar dynamic supply when economies open up travel starts picking up this play is going to continuous rebound now, this play is a little bit earlier on in this rebound then amplifies you can see but Pre-pandemic levels above $6. So again, this is another potential double up candidate to put on your radar. Now looking at the charts, you can see despite the market volatility we've had, the panic, the sell-off, the chaos, these two plays still continue to show strength in their price movement upwards. So this is good signs of things to come. Up on screen, that's Genius Brands, ticker symbol GNUS. This is a media company that focuses on children's entertainment. Now, if we look at the charts, we can see this one's been consolidating between $1 and $1.50 over time. So the idea is to position yourselves ahead of the next catalyst to push that stock price up. Now, we know their cartoon channel's doing well right now, and they're trying to position themselves in 100 million US households. They're also kicking off a big campaign where they're gonna be using TV ads, display ads, using influencers to boost their upcoming release now right now genius is sitting at $1.77 I think we can get a better entry than that if we wait for a pullback to $1.50 before jumping into this one let's talk about how we can level up as investors all right guys so one of the ways to do stock due diligence is to do a check over on the management team because ultimately these are going to be the group of people that lead that play to success now I've got three pillars to doing stock due diligence the first is that they've got clear objectives written up plain and simple for us investors to see and what we're looking for is commentary on where that business is going could be an increase in revenues and how they're going to get there that could be through acquisitions partnerships things of that nature. Now it's important that we see that focused management team because for that play to increase its stock price, we're gonna need it to continue performing as we move forward. Now you can often find that commentary in the future business outlook section of earnings reports or in their earnings calls. So I like to see this, and this is what you guys should be looking out for. Now the second pillar to management due diligence is that they're showing commitment. And we can see that if they've got a high percentage of the number of shares outstanding, because they've now got a vested interest in the company. So the better that company performs in the future, the bigger their payout's gonna be when they come to eventually sell their stock. Another thing we should be keeping tabs on is their buys in and their sells. If they're buying into the play, this could be a good sign. They often know things we don't know, so there could be something coming up in the horizon, like an acquisition or a partnership that's gonna increase that stock price. And it's equally as important to keep tabs on if management are selling out of their positions. Now, it could be a warning sign that the business might not be performing as well as expected going forward. It's not always the case though, they might just be gradually reducing their stake in the company, but if you see any unusually large sales 
or if they're reducing their stake, they have a very small stake in the company after these sales, something to look into. Now you can find these buys and sells in the S&C filings. Now the third pillar of management due diligence is to assess their strengths. I'm looking to see they've worked at least 10 years in a similar industry, but they've also worked in a similar size company or larger and they've hit success before. Because if they've hit success historically, there's a chance they can repeat that and hit success in the play that we're gonna invest into. Now management due diligence, that's a key part of your overall stock due diligence. So if you're not already doing so, I'd suggest you go and do it on the plays that you're gonna invest into. All right guys, we're rocking with the channel. You know what time is. This question comes from Adam says, thanks for the calm update, I have a question. I had some risky plays that were hitting 30% down. I worked out if I sold them at a loss and put that recovered value in Tesla while it was low, the future target price would easily cover the losses. Is this more risky than holding plummeting smaller plays until they recover? Now I knew instantly when I read this question, it was a good one that I had to come and share with you guys because I know I help a lot of people out. Normally under these market conditions where we're going for a correction, a lot of the plays coming down, I would say hold firm in the plays that you're in. It's only a matter of time before we see that inflection in the price, trend reversal, and it's onwards and upwards for the plays. This happens pretty much every year in the markets. But this is only under the condition that you've invested into high quality plays that have good fundamentals, good catalysts coming up. Now I know some of you invest in some risky penny stock plays that you'd have found elsewhere on YouTube that are lacking the fundamentals needed to drive that stock price up once the market turns. So you can use this as an opportunity to sell out those plays, take that 30, 35% loss, jump into a play like Tesla, like Adam said, because one, you're reconfiguring and getting some balance into your portfolios. You guys know I said, use this as an opportunity to balance out your portfolios, get those cornerstone investments in there because they act like the glue for your portfolios. And I know some of you are sitting at portfolios of 100% penny stock plates. So this is your chance to make that change. And second, you can take that 30, 35% loss in that play, jump into a Tesla that could be more sure to make a rebound. Because what you guys must know is not every play is gonna make a rebound from this correction. So a Tesla, for example, sitting right now around 600, I expect it to hit that 850 level. That's a good 40% upside on the current price. So you could take that 40% loss, jump into a Tesla that can make a 40% gain. And do remember you can write off that loss against your taxes and offset it on any profit on any stock you make. Now, if you are gonna use this strategy, I wouldn't just sell out of all the plays in your portfolio, I'll be selective about it. All right guys, that wraps things up. Now as we progress through the weekend, I'll be coming at you guys with a ton more videos to get you prepped and ready for that Monday morning opening bell on the stock market. So do hit the like button for me, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.